contrary to what most of those cereal marketers out there are saying that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, many of those cereals on the shelves are probably hurting you more than they're helping you. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what makes a good healthy cereal, what to look for, what to avoid, and I'll share my recommendations on what some of the healthiest breakfast cereals you can buy are. Plus, I'll share the ones that I usually get. So let's get started. The major problem with cereals is the added sugar and the added artificial ingredients. So many cereal companies, despite them saying how healthy they are, are adding so much added sugar. It's really frustrating. Why is that a problem? Your blood glucose level is gonna go through the roof and then what goes up always comes down and then actually goes down even farther than where it was before. So you're gonna have this really big sugar crash, lose all of your energy and what is your body gonna to wanna to do? Go right back to the sugar. So it's gonna create this constant cycling of needing more and more sugar to stay at a high. It's really like a dependency. So when choosing a breakfast cereal, we wanna make sure and be very cautious cognizant of two main things, that refined sugar that's being added, and then also any artificial coloring or flavoring. So if you've watched my video on the shocking hidden sugar in foods, you already know, I get really heated about all these different ways that manufacturers and marketers try to make sugar sound healthy, using words like brown rice syrup and organic cane sugar, or even barley malt. We already probably know to look out for sugar or high fructose corn syrup, or really just corn syrup in general. But but marketers are getting smarter and smarter on how to make it look like it's not sugar. If it's coconut sugar or something like that, that's a much better added sugar. It has more nutrient value and it's not going to spike my glucose levels as high. So the way that we deal with the added sugar is that we look at what other nutrients are in this cereal that might actually counterbalance that added sugar. And the same goes for artificial colors and dyes that go into there. Those colors are getting made in a lab and any type of excess processing like that is gonna lead to a bunch of ramifications like added inflammation and other issues that we just really don't need in what should be a healthy start to our day. Now, I don't always have cereal. I do keep some in the house for when I want it. I often usually don't even have it for a breakfast. I might have it for a snack in the middle of the day. So what makes a healthy cereal? So a healthy cereal, first and foremost, will be one that you want to eat because otherwise, what's the point? And it still provides a good, healthy portion of fiber, protein, fat, and nutrients. And yes, I'm adding in healthy fat as one of those main key items that you wanna be looking for. And if you're wondering why, I have a whole video on why you should be having saturated fats in your foods and why fat is actually good for you that I will link for you below. So the first thing I do when I'm looking at a nutrition label for cereals is I look at how many added sugars are there. Then I look at protein and fiber and then how much fat is in it and what type of fat is it? Is it a trans hydrogenated fat? Because then that's a big no. Is it just regular saturated fat or unsaturated fat? And those are definitely okay. And the fats typically will be coming from nuts and seeds because those are healthy fats. The protein and the fiber are super important. They're gonna keep you fuller longer. They're gonna help with your metabolism. They're gonna keep you energized for longer. And overall, it's just gonna be a more well-balanced, nutrient-rich food. Now, I'm not recommending that you avoid carbohydrates. Whole grains are complex carbs that have tons of nutrient benefits. So an ideal breakfast should have a small amount of added sugars, high fiber, high protein, and a healthy amount of fat. So I've gone through the healthiest cereals that I could find at the grocery store. Though keep in mind that cereals are not the healthiest breakfast option you can find. However, we can find some healthier options amongst all of the noise and all of the added marketing. So which cereals meet those targets? Well, let's find out. Okay, so let's look at Nature's Path Smart Brand. So this one is a great option if you want more fiber. In a 40 gram serving, you already are getting 17 grams of fiber. That's like 70% of what you need in a day for most women. So you're probably going to want to counterbalance that throughout the rest of the day. It also has eight grams of added sugar, but the high fiber in that is also gonna help reduce that extra high blood sugar spike. It's gonna have you be digesting that food longer and slower rather than having it all hit right away. All right, let's talk about Cashy Go. And this one is a well-rounded option. Yes, it's cereal, so it's processed. If you really look into it, Cashy is owned by Kellogg's, so <laughs> it's all one big 
big scheme. <laughs> Nonetheless, in a 58 gram serving, you're gonna get 12 grams of fiber and 11 grams of protein. Those are really good numbers. And that's because it has ingredients like soy protein concentrate, wheat bran, oat fiber. And combination of all those whole grains really add a lot of nutrients to this, which is what we're looking for in a healthy breakfast cereal. And at seven grams of added sugar, it's not super loaded in sugar. So this one is, is a pretty decent pick. So let's talk about grape nuts next. My kids love grape nuts. Even though I still don't understand why they're called grape nuts, first off, they have zero added sugars. That's awesome. They also have six grams of protein and seven grams of fiber in about a 60 gram serving. So that means I don't feel bad at all grabbing grape nuts for the kids. They love it and it just works out really nice. They do like to have their cereal sweet. We add a little bit of coconut sugar or raw honey to it and they absolutely, they love it. So Bob's Red Milk has a gluten-free muesli and this one is made with gluten-free rolled oats, nutrient-rich nuts, seeds and dried fruits. So a bunch of good foods to be having. This muesli option does have decent amounts of fiber and protein, and it has a pretty higher amount of added fats, though that's obviously coming from the addition of those extra nuts and seeds. Plus it only has two grams of added sugar. So if you're wanting to start your day with a hearty option that's higher in fat, that's gonna make you feel fuller longer, and whether or not you wanna follow a gluten-free diet, this muesli is pretty good for you. All right, we're getting close to my favorite, but we're not quite there yet. So let's talk about cash honey toasted cereal. If you're a Honey Nut Cheerios fan, this one is a very comparable flavor and feel and experience because I know Honey Nut Cheerios is one that parents usually buy for their kids thinking that they're getting a healthy option. Unfortunately, they are super high in sugar. Cashew's option has seven grams of added sugar. You're also getting more protein, more fiber, and you're getting less sodium all in the cashew option. So in general, it's still not amazing, but it's much better. And if you just really like Cheerios, I recommend getting regular original Cheerios, not the Honey Nut, and then adding a little bit of raw honey to it when you serve it to yourself. That way you get a little bit of that honey flavor and it's not super processed and you can control how much you're putting on there. So let's talk granola now for a minute. The Purely Elizabeth Ancient Grains granola is gluten-free and it's actually lower in sugars compared to a lot of those granola options out there. They also use organic coconut sugar. It's also richer in healthy fats compared to any of the items on this list, making it more calorically dense, but also having nutritional value. And that means you're gonna be getting that protein and that fiber and you're gonna be feeling fuller longer. So now let's talk about Ezekiel 49's flax sprouted whole grain cereal, because this one is my favorite. You get eight grams of protein, seven grams of fiber, and three grams of healthy fats in a serving. Plus, it just has one gram of added sugar. Big bonus. I just like the flavor, I like the nutrients, and it doesn't just hit you in the face with either added sugars or a ton of extra fiber. And it's also just not highly processed, which I think is why I prefer it as well. So if you've seen my video on what I eat in a day, or you watched me on my Instagram stories, you know I almost every day have an Ezekiel English muffin that is a cinnamon raisin muffin with a little bit of butter on it and it is just the best. I feel like their quality of food is so great and they have really good sprouted grains that they add to their foods. Their nutritional profiles are great and they just make a pretty good product. And they're not paying me to say any of this stuff. I just like them and so I wanted to give them a shout out. All right, so did I mention your favorite in this list? Is there one that I should have mentioned that you want to share? Let me know in the comments below. So whether you're choosing a healthy breakfast cereal or a protein smoothie or whatever it is you prefer in the morning, the goal is to have a nutrient rich food that is going to work for you rather than against you. So I hope you've learned that. If you want some great inspiration for healthy breakfast ideas, I have a whole playlist I can link for you and check that out and I will see you in the next video.